Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about the updates of Beat Saber and Beat Saber 360, which is going to be available at the 90Hz refresh rate on the Oculus Quest 2. Let's go! This video is not sponsored by VR-Wave.store, however, since they've sent us a couple of the prescription lenses, we just think they're really awesome. You can also use, by the way, the promo code VRESSENTIALS for a 5% discount. More details in the link in the description below the like button. There was a report last year that Beat Saber was downloaded more than 2 million times, which has definitely helped more people to get into VR. It's definitely a fan favorite for most, especially for VR fitness. Beat Games, a development studio from the Czech Republic, which originally created Beat Saber, was acquired back in 2019 for a value of half a million to a billion dollars by Facebook. Since then, there's been few updates, including some major ones for the VR360 version and also the multiplayer version of the actual VR experience. This gives people the ability to both play in a VR360 environment, which basically means you get to turn around in your entire play space and also join with friends in the multiplayer version. But the big selling point of the Oculus Quest 2 when it first was released is the fact that it was going to provide developers the ability to upload games at 90 Hz refresh rate. So what exactly is a refresh rate? Well, the way you need to look at it is like this. It's basically each amount of time that the content refreshes itself in order to progress. So the more times it gets to refresh itself, the faster, the smoother the gameplay, and the less, more importantly, motion sickness you will also get. Another way to look at refresh rate is frames per second. So 90 Hz refresh rate basically means you're getting your content updated at 90 frames per second, and the more frames per second, the smoother the gameplay. The higher the refresh rate, you'll be able to get faster feedback from your inputs, you'll be able to aim much better, and you'll also be able to get faster reactions inside of the gameplay. Let's not mention that the less latency means also you'll get less blurriness. However, Oculus gave the option to developers did not natively update all the various different games on the actual Oculus Quest 2 itself. So most of the actual apps there are still between 60 and 72 Hz refresh rate. The Oculus Quest 2, however, does not offer the fastest refresh rate. If we look at the 8K Pimax, as well as the Sony PlayStation, they offer 120 Hz refresh rate and also the Valve Index, which provides 144 Hz refresh rate. Since the acquisition of Beat Saber with Facebook, it means that Facebook are able to integrate some of those social features. There will be a new way to play with your friends directly from groups that you may have created in your party Oculus section. And if you have a private server installed at your home or your company, you're going to be able to play with other people from your own private network as well. To increase competitivity, apparently statistics have been brought back and also when you're playing in multiplayer, everyone will now be able to see the same obstacles. I will put a link in the description below which will lead you back to all the various different changes and updates that will occur in the next Beat Saber patch version. And also do remember to be part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video which will upload very soon to the channel. And just a safety reminder that you will need a Facebook account in order to use the Oculus Quest 2 which basically means you could lose all your Oculus Quest games if Facebook decide to close your account. Now we have done numerous videos about privacy tips so do go and check out those other videos as well.